Wow. Now, this is not a drama video. This is a legit question from an audience out there. What's of all the e-beggars going on there? What's of the people coming to the big community just to make money, you know, just to just to trend off something? Or we have the the Anna v uh, versus, I'm not sure what the last name is, Anna versus Vegan Cheetah. I think she's raised fifteen thousand dollars US to try and sue Vegan Cheetah. This is bullshit. One, it takes more than fifteen grand to sue someone. Two, Vegan Cheetah doesn't even have fifteen grand to his name, so you're trying to sue someone who has no money is fucking pointless. And you're gonna need way more than fifteen grand. But there's these people out there, and they're, just, and they're not showing any receipts. Where's the lawyer receipts? Just like that Eisel guy who took six and a half thousand dollars and showed no receipts ever. No receipts of where the actual six and a half thousand dollars went, and now he's traveling the world. He's got a couple of world tickets off that money. No one's asking for receipts. The key, as long as you hate Durnada, we will give you money. So people, it's it's a, oh my god, it's a weird world. Yeah, now we have a, a laptop scam where a girl, a girl, 19 year old woman, I should say, 19 year old woman is begging for money on eBay, on GoFundMe, saying, I, I need a laptop. And here's the thing I just put up a video on the Ask Dreamwriter channel showing receipts that she actually has a brand new laptop already. And this is like a month ago, and now there's a GoFundMe asking for money for thousands of dollars to get a new laptop for a girl who, woman who already has a laptop. And here's the thing, that 19 year old woman has rich parents and she just travels Australia, Thailand, travels around the world of her parents' money, has a brand new laptop, yet still will look people in the eyes and say, hey guys, can I have some money for a new laptop, please? I need two brand new laptops. <laughs> oh my God, it's like, no wonder so many people don't take the vegan community serious. We have so much craziness going on. We have vegan games asking for Patreon money to buy a new dog and to feed that dog elk and moose meat, whatever. Like, no one's even talking about that. And I, I, I don't even, is that even true? I can't believe Vegan Gains of all people. At least Vegan Gains is actually putting out regular vegan content. But this, you know, you know what I mean? Like, Vegan Gains is a bit of a fruit loop. We're all fruit loops, but you know, I, I, that's probably the most disappointing one is vegan games doing that because we didn't expect that someone who claims to be ethical vegan would buy a brand new dog from a breeder internationally ship it over and then feed it a meat diet I mean I personally wouldn't do that one I wouldn't buy a dog I'd get a rescue dog two I wouldn't feed it meat and if I did feed it meat it would be meat from a dumpster diver or roadkill there's no way I'd spend a single dollar buying meat that's just not who I am what about Figsy? I've been banned from Figsy um, and I'm living in Thailand, so but I would love to look after Pigsy if I was in Australia, definitely. But the the forces that be prevented that. But maybe if maybe I'll start a GoFundMe, help me get Pigsy back, raise thousands of dollars for a lawyer to get custody of a canine. I mean, <laughs> what are we doing in this? What are we doing in this world? Meanwhile, in Africa, twenty-seven thousand kids every day are under age five dying from starvation. But let's donate money to some bogus legal law fund. Let's donate money to someone who wants to buy expensive designer meats for their designer dog. Let's donate money to a rich 19 year old spoiled brat, self entitled world traveler who's living off daddy's money, pun intended, uh, for a new laptop. Another laptop, a second brand new laptop. Let's donate for that. Meanwhile, I mean, I, I just came I'm in Burma yesterday and going through Burma and seeing not too much poverty, just a little bit of poverty. But seeing people still very, very grateful. And these people earn a couple of bucks a day, you know. And there was guys smashing concrete with hammers, earning a few bucks a day. And they had enough to smile to a camera. You go to a construction site in Australia with a camera, and they're like, fuck off, mate. So I just, it just irks me when we have these self-entitled first world brats with first world problems e-begging for money when they're already fucking got so much money themselves. And you have these people who have no money in Burma or Bangladesh and they're not begging for money, they're just smiling for the camera. Hey man, you're a tourist, cool. Hey, smile, you know. How do we develop more gratitude in ourselves and how do we inspire other people, the self-entitled first world brats, to have more gratitude in themselves? How do we do that? Is that lobotomy? Do we have to sue these people? <laughs> isn't he isn't bigger? I'm gonna sue someone for being an ungrateful fuck. I'm gonna sue someone for being overly self-entitled. Can we do that? Can we get a GoFundMe? Can I get a hallelujah?